All right, welcome back to Life Advantage Now. So uh, they have been, <laughs> friend, my friends have been forcing me to do this to talk about uh, being mentally ready to drive. And uh, before we get started, if you want to subscribe to this channel, please do so. If you have comments, please go ahead and add them down there. And again, for those people that are actually, you know, maybe you are looking for something different to do. Maybe you're trying to um, start a new career. Maybe you're an entrepreneur or something like that. And maybe you want to, you know, start a, a new business or maybe you want to work from home. I definitely have something uh, if you want to check down in the links below that you can actually go and check out for yourself and be able to do and start. So for me, it's been wonderful so far. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, please do so. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and, and talk about being uh, mentally ready to drive. Okay. And it's, it's just as important as everything else, but it's just like, you know, waking up in the morning. Okay. You just don't wake up and, 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 and put clothes on Well, some people do, but um, when I, when I, when I mean that, I mean, you don't just wake up and just go to your closet with your eyes closed and start putting stuff on, you know, cause you know, you could put on a shirt that's torn. You can put on some, some slacks with some tennis shoes. I mean, that's not something that you do. We always get ready. Even if it's in a split of a second, we always still pick out stuff to put on because that's called getting ready. It's the same thing with driving. Some people, they just go and they just get in the car and just start driving. Okay. And the thing is, is that you have to be mentally ready to drive. And what that means is, is that please understand that once you get in the driver's seat and you start the car and you put it in drive, you are responsible. You are the responsible party. So even if it's, you know, one foot and you back up and you hit something, okay, you are the responsible party because you got in that car and you weren't prepared, okay? And you didn't check your surroundings. And, you know, we talked about that before as well, okay? But being mentally ready, we want to get into what that actually means to be mentally ready, okay? It's, did you get enough rest, okay? Are you drink, drinking the right amount of liquids? Are you eating the right amounts of food? Are you getting enough exercise? You have to exercise your mind, okay? When you get into a vehicle, Again, like I say, if you're if you're not, you're putting everybody else, including yourself, at risk. Okay? But when you're sitting in that driver's seat, you have to ask yourself, am I ready to drive? Okay? You don't want to be, you don't want to be you know, reaching over to get stuff or something like that. When you start to drive, your focus should only be on driving. It should only be on driving. It should be on nothing else but driving. Okay? Your focus should be, you know, your surroundings of what's going on. It shouldn't be what's going on in your back seat. It shouldn't be, you know, let me reach over and get this. Let me let me try to get some gum. Let me light a cigarette. It shouldn't be any of that stuff. And I, I promise you, if you just focus on driving, there wouldn't even really be any accidents. Okay, because you're focused, you know what's going on, especially if you're a driver that's been driving for quite a long time, you already know, okay, the habits of most people. You can look at a car and say, oh, it looks like, you know, they're probably going to come over. And most of the time, nine times out of ten, they are. Probably ten times out of ten, they are. Okay, but these are, this is why you have to be focused on driving. Okay, you have to be able to point out this stuff. You have to be able to see what's going on. You got to see people when they change lanes. You know, it... it if it, if it hasn't happened, it's going to happen, okay? So you have to learn how to be mentally focused on your driving, okay? The, the controls in your vehicle, they're not really specifically for you. They're for passengers, okay? Just like the Uber drivers, when you get in, they say, is it too cold? Is it too hot? Would you like a snack? Would, is that a good station? Because it's not for them. It's not for the driver. It's for the convenience of the passengers, Okay. Yeah, you want to have all that stuff ready before you start to. And if, let's say you're driving in a vehicle, it gets too hot. You probably should pull off the road and and try and fix that. Okay. Don't try and fix it because it it only takes that one second. Okay, for you to have an accident where somebody, you know, like they do, they cut people off. So they could cut you off and you're not paying attention. 
And like I say, it couldn't mean the, the difference between life and death. You have to be mentally prepared to be able to drive a vehicle. If you're not mentally prepared, please don't get in the vehicle and drive. But you have to understand the effects. Like I said, of being mentally ready. And that goes back to earlier what I was saying about the lady getting hit of you know, with the trash can of mulch on her car. Okay? It's because we got in a vehicle, we weren't mentally ready, and we started driving. Because if we were mentally ready, we would have checked all those things. We would have walked around, we would have checked that stuff. Okay? Because it's it's a safety hazard. Okay? If you're not, like I said, if you're not ready to drive, then my best advice to you would be to don't drive. Okay? But you have to be ready to drive. And I know I keep harping on, I keep, you know, going over this and over this. But, you know, we're probably going to get into this again. Okay, because I, there's so many things out there I see. So we have people on the cell phone, you know, people talking to people in the car. You know, don't let the distractions keep you from driving. And that's usually what happens. You have people that are on the phone and they're speeding up and slowing down. All this kind of crazy stuff. You know, getting in and out of the lane. They don't even know that they're changing lanes because they're not paying attention. Okay? But you have to be ready to drive. So, again, like I say, you know, if you want to uh, subscribe to this channel, please do. Because we're always going to be talking about, you know, good things. And hopefully, eventually, here in the future, we can actually, you know, interview some people. Okay? That you know, have a, a lot of knowledge about road safety and road hazards. And I, like I said before, I have some really great things that um, you can actually use in your vehicle. Because, I mean, it's just like, it's just like drinking um, a person that drinks coffee every day. You can tell them, well, you probably should, you know, slow down on drinking coffee, yada, yada, don't drink coffee because of this. People are going to do what they want to do. Okay? So, the best thing to do, you can, like, okay, well, let's go back. So, you can tell a person... You know, don't talk on the phone while driving. Don't, you know, fidget while driving or whatever the case may be. That's something that's distracting. But they're going to do it anyway. So the best thing that we can do is we can provide some something that's safe for them. Okay? To make their, their drive safer. Okay? So instead of reaching over to get that phone, maybe it's right here. And they can go, okay, no. Instead of, because their people are going to do it anyway. So... Go ahead and buy that stuff and, and keep yourself safe, okay? But again, like I say, besides getting your vehicle inspected, if you're not mentally prepared to drive, and I'm talking about emotions, things that happens in your life, because some people black out. When I say black out, I mean they... Have you ever heard people say, oh, I was, I was driving and all of a sudden I didn't even know I passed such and such. I didn't know I was down that far because they're not ready to drive. Okay, if something is on your mind that's bothering you like that, then you shouldn't drive. It's better you call Uber or Lyft or, or get a friend or something to take you somewhere or something. Okay? But for us to be safe, for us to all work together, okay, we have to focus. And whatever is going to get you to focus, then that's what you need to do. If it's drink a cup of coffee in the morning, it, I would suggest that you drink plenty of water. You should drink water when you wake up anyway, okay? It's going to help your body, get your digestive system going. You should drink plenty of water anyway, okay? But you need to keep your body hydrated. But that's what we were talking about earlier, you know, going back and making sure that, you know, you're getting enough rest. That, that'll play a big part in it, okay? But also, you know, along with that, like I was saying, there's some stuff that, you know, I could tell you that to keep your drive safe. Did you know that there's actually tools that you can use, you know, for a drowsy driver to keep that driver awake? Isn't that awesome? Okay. All this stuff is because of all the stuff that's, like I say, that happens on the road. Because when you drive, okay, you, like I say, you're putting everybody else at risk if you're not, you know, inspecting and maintaining yourself. But like I say, most of us escape, well, all of us, if you get behind the wheel, Depending on what you do, we escape death every day. And watching these videos and understanding 
and going back and figure out is going to be the way to prevent that. Okay, I'm sure you've seen the text dot signs. We haven't even made it halfway through the year yet. And it's saying we have a thousand and something deaths. Okay, now that we're to the end of the year, now it's like 2,000, almost 3,000. You believe that people are dying every day. Some for silly things, some are unavoidable. Okay, but like I say, if you if you just focus and you get your car inspected and you focus, you can prevent a lot of things that happen. We can prevent a lot of things that happen. Prevent a lot of tragedy, prevent a lot of breakdowns, prevent all this stuff from happening. Okay, but you are the responsible party. Like I say, when you get behind that wheel, you are the responsible party. You have to take action and you have to understand how important it is. It's not a game. It's <laughs> this is serious. You can you can pull out of your driveway and get hit. Hadn't even started the day yet. Pull out the driveway and get hit because you know you and the other person are not paying attention. Okay? And we're gonna we're gonna talk about that too. You know, about backing out of spaces and stuff like that. But just understand like I said, if you're not mentally ready to drive, then you should not be behind the wheel. So again, um, like I say, subscribe if you like the videos. I mean, even if you don't, comment, let me know why, let me know if there's something you want to talk about. There's lots of people that always say, hey, talk about this, talk about that. But my priority that I want to, to bring to social media is to keep everybody safe because you always hear about people dying you know or getting injured bodily injuries from you know when you come to find out about from silly things that didn't even have to take place okay like I say some are are unavoidable but if we go through the precautions and we take the necessary actions a lot of things can we can prevent that we can prevent things from happening okay so I really appreciate you for watching and like I say please stay tuned in because this channel here is going to prevent a lot of accidents and injuries and deaths okay the way you leave is the way you should return so please stay tuned in and again like I always say um, drive beyond common sense for you and for others. So I'll see you in the future.